about what I'm witnessing in the Jewish community. That's the community that I come from. I, I was raised Jewish and Zionist. They're not the same thing, but I was raised Jewish and Zionist, deeply Zionist. I was a teenage president of the Zionist youth group. So I was very indoctrinated. I lived in Israel in my 20s and I almost became Israeli. And um, I thank God for the inspiration to understand the truth, to change the direction in my life and come to support the people that I was taught all of my life were my enemies. I love you all, you're not my enemies, and I support you. And uh, I pray that we see a free Palestine in my lifetime. And I'm a pretty old guy, so that's gotta be pretty quick, you know? Um, let me talk, let me just go out on a limb for a minute and tell you that I did something very bad a couple of weeks ago. I was so disgusted and so horrified with the bombs dropping on Gaza, and I really didn't know what to do. And there's a, a synagogue, I live in Teaneck, New Jersey, and there's a synagogue there that has a big Israeli flag in their window. And I said, you know what, I'm gonna go up with this sign and a Palestinian flag, and I'm gonna stand up there while they're going to their religious services, and I'm gonna read off the names of Gazans who were killed. And I asked a Muslim friend of mine, do you wanna go up there with me? And he said, no, he couldn't go because as a Muslim, He's forbidden for interfering. He's forbidden from interfering with any other religious services. And I said, "Well, you know what? I'm not a Muslim, so I can do that." And I stood in front of a synagogue and I read off names of the children who were killed in Gaza, and I made a lot of people angry. But I felt that I had to do it. And I'll tell you why I felt that I had to do it because when the synagogue displays an Israeli flag, it ceases to be simply a religious institution. It becomes political at that point. And from there I want to tell you about a couple of other experiences that I've had with the Jewish community, uh, specifically in Bergen County where I live. Several years ago, uh, a, a, synagogue, a synagogue called B'nai Yeshurun uh, had a real estate event where they sold West Bank homes directly to American Jews right here in New Jersey. In other words, a Jewish person could walk into the B'nai Assurance Synagogue and write a check and come out owning a home in an illegal West Bank settlement. That's happening right here. I organized a demonstration against that, and when I did, I had a conversation with the rabbi there. We had an email correspondence. And this rabbi was happy to talk to me because he thought he could convince me to come back into the fold. And he revealed to me that the real estate event was held in the sanctuary of the synagogue. And he told me the reason that he had the event in the sanctuary of the synagogue was because he considers the redemption of the land to be a religious duty. Understand that. Okay, and this is what I come from too. I, I come from hearing this phrase a lot too, the redemption of the land. This is putting ethnic cleansing into religious language. Do we understand that? Okay, I'm, I'm not really good at going rah, rah, rah through Palestine. I'm giving you substance here. I'm telling you what the, what's going on in the Jewish community to support the ethnic cleansing of Palestine, and specifically what's going on in synagogues by rabbis calling your ethnic cleansing their redemption of the land. What do we do about it? I don't know. My answer has been to demonstrate at synagogues. You all don't want to join me, that's okay. I want to talk about another rabbi, Rabbi David Seth Kirshner of Temple Emmanuel in Closter, New Jersey. While the bombs were raining down on innocent civilians in the summer of 2014, he gave a speech in which he said that anyone who voted for Hamas was a legitimate military target. Okay, here's a rabbi, here's a man of God, who is justifying the murder of civilians based on how they voted. This is the kind of obscenity that's going on in the Jewish community. My response to that was to lead demonstrations at Temple Emmanuel in Closter, and we did that for several weeks. 
So I don't know what the answer is, really. I'm here just to reveal that information, to tell you as a Jew from the Jewish community the kind of racism that I was brought up with and the kind of racism that persists in the Jewish community and specifically in synagogues and among rabbis. And I don't mean to stir up anti-Semitism by this because you know that there are many Jews who are absolutely dedicated to the Palestinian cause. You see Netzerai Carta at, at many pro-Palestine events. And you see me out here with this sign and a lot of others. There's a few other Jews in the crowd here today, okay? But there is among the Jewish community this racist bent that is pervasive and it really needs to be addressed and I'm not sure how to do it. Before I close, I just want to talk about a few different events that are happening tomorrow, if I may. And listen, it's important that we keep up the energy. There was like 4,000 people out in Patterson a couple of weeks ago, and there's fewer than that today. I'm glad to see you all here. But you can't lose energy. And you got to go home, and you got to tell your friends to come out. Uh, just let me tell them about what's going on tomorrow. 6.30 tomorrow morning, there's a block the boat in the Port of Elizabeth, okay? There's a, an Israeli ship uh, from the Zim Company that's going to try to to dock in Elizabeth. Be out there for that. Two o'clock in the afternoon, there's a Palestine teach-in in Clifton. So every, all the leaders have, uh, of this event have information about that, and I have it too. 5.30 tomorrow afternoon, I'm leading this event in Teaneck, New Jersey. There's going to be a parade. With, they're expecting 5,000 Zionists to march in a Unite for Israel parade in Teaneck tomorrow. So we need bodies out there, okay? There's a counter demonstration at 5.30 tomorrow in Teaneck. I have that information. If you're interested in coming out, talk to me. I'll give you the information, all right? Thanks a lot for letting me speak. Free Palestine.